The conclusion to regulation in the AFC Championship game saw Tom Brady throw a bad pass. Rob Gronkowski started a chance to catch it, pops into the air. Chiefs intercept, but O.D. Ford offside, and that kept the drive alive. Patriots take the lead. Chiefs tie it up. They go to overtime, and the Patriots win. What if Wednesday we... We go back to that play. What if D Ford isn't offside, Shereen? What if that interception counts and the Chiefs have the ball at that point at their own 36 with 54 seconds left and the Patriots have three timeouts? How does that game play out from that point forward? And do we see Chiefs Rams in the Super Bowl? You know, I don't know who came up with this what if, but it is a great what if because so many things would have changed, starting with I think we all believe the Kansas City Chiefs would have won that football game. Would we look at the Patriots mm, not a me. little bit Go ahead. I'll let you, than I'll we let, do I'll now? I'll let you finish. Okay. Go ahead. I'll let you finish, but I, I don't do, necessarily I, agree. I do think we see the Chiefs as Super Bowl champions at this point. I do think they win the Super Bowl. I think Bob Sutton's still there. I think D. Ford's still there. I think Frank Clark is not in Kansas City. He's somewhere else. So many things to me change if D. Ford stays onside, doesn't line up offsides. I, I just think it was a huge play that we're going to remember for a really long time, especially the people in Kansas City are going to remember this for a really long time. If they win it this year, I guess it gets forgotten a little bit, a little footnote. Uh, but if they don't, and I think we're going to go back and point to this play for a really, really long time that it changed the fortunes of the Kansas City Chiefs and maybe changed the fortunes of the Patriots a little bit. Would Rob Gronkowski still be uh, playing for the New England Patriots today? Well, I, and I look, I, I've learned the hard way over the years what happens when you doubt the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick. And he had all three timeouts. No question. 54 seconds left. The, the Chiefs would have had the ball on their own 36. Andy Reid presumably runs the ball three times, although I, who knows? May, maybe he decides to throw caution to the wind and have Patrick Mahomes throw a pass, and maybe Bill Belichick's got something dialed up where they intercept and they get a short field. But I, I think Tom Brady would have had a chance. Now, what would there have been left? Maybe 35 seconds, 40 seconds to get down the field, but I'm not ready to rule out the Patriots pulling this one out. They wouldn't have needed overtime to do it. They would have scored a touchdown and walked off 31-28 winners if they would have gotten the ball back and if they would have gotten down the field. But I think it's more likely the Chiefs would have won, and in that moment, I think we all thought, oh, there it goes, That there went the Patriots, and here go the Chiefs. And you're right, the Chiefs wouldn't have had maybe the sweeping changes that we saw defensively. Ford would still be there, most likely. Sutton would be there. Now, I'm curious about why you think the Chiefs would have won the Super Bowl because we saw that Rams-Chiefs game in late November, the epic 54-51 back and forth, Rams win the game. Why do you think it would have been different the second time around? Well, I'm basing it, obviously, on what we saw the Rams do in the postseason now. We know the Chiefs' defense was just flat-out awful. I think they were 31st in the NFL last season in total defense, which is why they made all those changes. Uh, but just based on the way the Rams played in that Super Bowl, especially offensively, and, you know, was it all those practices at the, as a pool reporter with the Rams? And to me, offensively, they just didn't look that good in practice either. I just don't think they were going to score a lot of points, even if it was against that Chiefs' defense. And and with Todd Gurley obviously not being a big part of that offense, I just don't think they would have scored enough points to keep up with the Chiefs in that football game. I think back to the comments from Sean McVay, the coach of the Rams from a couple of weeks ago, where he said he kind of outsmarted himself. He didn't work as smart as he could have. He spent too much time on other things in that dead week. And, and you know, maybe it's different if you're not freaked out by Bill Belichick. And I, and I think that that Belichick angle may have crept into his brain a little bit and affected his preparation. Whereas if you're going against Andy Reid, you beat him in the regular season, you don't have that same trepidation that maybe you would. But uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not ready to say the Patriots would have lost the AFC Championship game, and I'm definitely not ready to say the Rams wouldn't have won the Super Bowl. Although the big difference is Todd Gurley wasn't the same guy by the end of the year that he was during that game. Although he didn't, he didn't do a ton in that uh, in that Rams Chiefs game, if I remember correctly, uh, but he definitely wasn't the same guy at the end of the year, and that still lingers into this season. I you know we I think we've exhausted the what if. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.